Year six is going to be a very exciting time. We're going to go places we've never been. The team is amazing. The team is excited for this year. The name of the year is The Lost Horizons. The core fantasy and identity for the past five years were about the night, biking, samurai, and moving. The now remaining question is how do we expand the fantasy? Within Heathmoor, there have been maybe some forgotten worlds, some forgotten stories, mythology that has yet to be uncovered. We want to dive into that and tell that story. The fantasy is really coming to a level that we've never seen before. It starts with the relics. Each season will be represented by a relic. That will be the vehicle to the Lost Horizons. At the end of year five, pirate hero brought her own new fight styles to the game. But she also brings with her the Outlanders. The Outlanders are a group of mercenaries that the only ties that they really have is the fact that they're joining the fight for their own personal reasons and objectives. They're gonna bring with them extremely different seasons and they're really trying to represent that in game in terms of content, in terms of uh, gameplay as well. Each of the Outlander heroes want to break from the norms of For Honor. While we saw the pirate use peaks inside chains, each of the others might try to do something a little bit different and unique. We're going to see that play out in year six in the middle of season two and in the middle of season four. That's when the next two Outlanders will reveal themselves. The hero skins, long story short, would be to say that it's a new way to customize and express yourself as a player. It doesn't take away the armor variations that we're used to bringing, the color palettes and the battle pass, all of those things still remain. But the hero skin is that next step. There's no mixing and matching with the hero skin. This is the player or the embodiment of whatever you're going to be. Each season, you can expect one new hero skin for one hero. We wanted to have a blank canvas to draw a new character and it complements to the story that we want to tell this season. Crossplay! Cross-platform has been a feature heavily requested by the community. So at the start of year six, we bring crossplay to matchmaking. This will unite the three pools, the three platforms together. Later in the year, as a second upgrade to this, we expect to be able to allow you to group with your friends cross-platform. I absolutely love our testing grounds feature. It's an unprecedented tool to work with the community on balance and gameplay improvement changes. Balance is a never ending journey. Each year we've made really strong efforts to try and improve it. We want to continue to evolve that over the course of year six to the point where everyone can say, hey, this character should be pickable. The possibilities in Year 6 are endless. We are exploring a bigger horizon. People are always so happy about like all the new stuff that's coming. Your passion still drives us, and we really hope that we're delivering on something that's fresh, exciting. Yeah, Year 6 is just going to be sick.